Hi everyone! What time is it? It's time to rehab the mind and revive the body. I'm Dr. Justin Lin here at Rehab and Revive Physical Therapy. I've got another massage gun segment for you all. It's about tennis elbow. Well, tennis elbow or extensor digitorum, I don't know, all this extensor group tendonitis in our forearm, that's basically what we're gonna address today. So stay tuned. A lot of you with tennis elbow at home are suffering with inability to hold a racket and play and volley and you know hit the ball and then it usually causes some pain right here. A lot of times it's actually a weakness. We're gonna do a test to check out if which side is weaker or which one's more set up. But usually it's complete opposite. A lot of people wanna stretch it. A lot of people wanna avoid using it. Um, it's actually a muscle or the, a group of muscles that need to be facilitated or to get stronger. So let's check that out. Um, I'm gonna have our videographer Griffin uh, check this out, see which one's stronger. Let's see here. So he's gonna check that one out and I'll just do this one. I would say, which one do you think? I think the left one, yeah. The left one is the one we're gonna use. So we'll see if that makes some dynamic change. So you just wanna hold it and try it out at home. If you really want, you can just try to see which one you can move easily and yeah, I can tell. Just feels weak here. Doesn't feel like anything's engaged. So let's make it better. All right, so some of you have been following us along on this massage gun series and this journey, and you already know what inhibition and uh, facilitation is already. But basically, for those of you new to this segment or the series, when we wanna facilitate something, we're actually trying to make it shorter. So it's like collapsing an accordion, making it shorter. In essence, you're actually making it stronger. And on the flip side, if you wanna inhibit muscles, you wanna make it longer. In essence, it's making it weaker. Now there's certain dominances our, our body has or compensations that actually create our dysfunctions, such as the tennis elbow. We've got all kinds of dysfunctions. Largely, the dysfunction of this being too strong or too tight um, and this being too weak or too lengthened and then the breakdown that ensues with that. So let's get into it. All right, so we've got our three massage gun heads. We've got the soft head, we've got the flat head, and then we've got the bullet. We're gonna use these in order. We're gonna start with the soft one and then kind of move down. So we go from outside, superficial, fascia, and all that fun stuff to deeper down into the muscles and tendons. So which muscles do you wanna take care of first? Well, we wanna inhibit the muscles that definitely bother us. We wanna make it weaker, we wanna make it longer so a lot of times these flexors imagine if you want to grab a racket and you're doing this but most of us are typing all day we want to make it longer so we're going to start from top and we're going to move down so let's start right over here we've got our general flexors of our hands if you don't know where they are you just kind of squeeze your hands and your wrist and you want to go right through you want to make it longer you're going from top to bottom Good. Get right into there. You can go all the way down to the wrist. Do this a few rounds. Another important flexor or supinator is living right in here. Basically, you want to go from that way too. So that's that lateral. You want to go from, so diagonal, kind of this way. And then if you want to ride that up, you've got your bicep, the inferior biceps, you want to inhibit as well. That creates this downward motion. If you don't know which muscle you want to hit, you turn your palm up and you can feel it working. So you want to get right into there and make it longer. These are your supinators. There we go. work that all the way down pretty easy all right Griffin let's check this out let's see which one let's see if this is a little bit stronger than last time yeah definitely definitely better 
So now we want to move into facilitating muscles. And these are your pronators or your extensors. And where if you feel that, if you feel it, you do this action or you do this downward motion, you feel it on the outside top of your forearm. You got another muscle down here, your pronator quadratus, and that's also down here. So you want to wake these muscles up. So we want to go shorten. So let's go shortening. And you can keep doing the motion with it too. Sometimes that's an easy way to figure out which, which ones you want to hit up. And it runs up a little bit towards the side above the elbow, some of these muscle groups. So you want to make sure you go above that elbow. Right in there. There we go. And then if you want to hit the quadratus, you just basically just go right in here. You know, wake up these muscles. It's like a little wristband or wrist sweatband that you put on your wrist. I don't know, who still uses those? Those are big in 2000, I guess. Going nightclubbing or something. <laughs> Anyways, look at that. It's a lot better. There's way more range, I think, than the, the other side. Yeah, I can go much further. All right, let's just take a quick test here. And then we'll do the different massage gun heads. Yeah, it doesn't even feel like I'm trying at all. How much more work was that? Better man. All right, so once again, we're gonna take this flat head and we're gonna run across all these flexors here. You know, we're gonna lengthen and then we're gonna shorten all these lateral muscles here. So that's basically the gist. You just need to know which muscles to hit up. So here's a flat head, penetrates a little bit deeper. So let's go right here again, wanna lengthen. Yeah, this one's real easy. Now we're gonna move to the, the bullet head. So now some of you who have more bony forearms may not wanna do this one. So it's okay if you just avoid this one altogether. For those of you, you got like Mark McGuire forearms back in his prime day. Those are huge. So maybe he needed this back then. Maybe not. He did hit over 600, 700 home runs. All right. So we're going to facilitate by lengthening. All right. Let's check it out. That's pretty darn strong. Yep, actually this looks weaker now. So, yep, a lot stronger. Should do this before I start my work day. Now, I've been a little bit of a skeptic of this massage gun, but I think adding this mindful piece to this massage gunning is really gonna make a difference in the world. And, you know, keep sharing these videos with others who are just aimlessly making their muscles hurt and making things worse, making sure, you know, they're doing it the right way or, and of course our way, because I always think my way is better. So I'm very biased. I'm going to keep it that way. If you have any questions, check with your healthcare practitioner, make sure these are safe for you. But if you like what we're doing and if you try these exercises or try this, the system here that we've created, please leave comments below. We've enjoyed all your support this last year. Please subscribe if you're new to this series, new to this channel. Thank you for your support. If you guys have already subscribed, I'm Dr. Lin. Remember, we heal smarter, not harder.